Hi, you guys. If you want to learn how to make my easy and delicious oven-baked asparagus fries, stay tuned. All right, so we have a bundle of asparagus here, and I'm just gonna use that uh, rubber band as a guide to cut off that woodsy end that we don't want to eat. And we're gonna go ahead and give our asparagus a good clean, a good rinse, and then we're going to move on to our dredging station. So we have some regular flour here, some all-purpose flour. We're also going to have an egg wash here. So just, just one egg and a little bit of water, whisking that together, just like so. While we're whisking, today's subscriber highlight goes to Miss Courtney from Mama Makes It Happen. She is a super sweet mama of six, a wife, uh, and also a YouTuber. We kind of started YouTube around the same time, and she has been a big support to my channel ever since we linked up. So uh, thank you so much, girl. I always appreciate you for supporting me. We're also going to season our flour a little bit just with some salt and pepper and then in my other plate i have some panko breadcrumbs you guys super delicious and i'm going to season that as well with a little bit of salt pepper oregano parsley basil a little smoked paprika just whatever spices that you love and then i'm also adding some parmesan cheese you guys so you don't want to add a whole lot of salt to your um panko because that parmesan is you know has a salty bite to it we're going to go ahead and mix everything up together and we're going to start dredging our asparagus beer so our asparagus has been sitting in water that is important you guys because if you just take dry asparagus beers and put it in the flour it's not going to stick it's not going to have anything to stick to so dip it in a little bit of water and then put it in your um, seasoned flour and then your egg wash and then your panko breadcrumbs your hands will get a little goopy uh, with doing this process but it is well worth it you guys so this is how it should look you want to pack that um, that panko all over it so you can get that nice crunchy bite so we're going to go ahead and do that to all of our asparagus beers we're just going to dip it in the flour then the egg wash and then our panko breadcrumbs So after we're done breading our asparagus spears, this is how it should look. I just have them on a baking rack over a baking sheet and I'm going to pop that into a 400 degree oven for approximately 25 to 30 minutes. You definitely want to keep an eye on it. And while they're in the oven, we're just going to make a super, super quick and yummy dipping sauce. And all it is is a little bit of mayo, some salt, some pepper, some minced garlic, and a little bit of lemon pepper because I love a lemony bite, especially on um, asparagus. You guys, lemon on asparagus is super yummy and garlic. So we're just going to whisk all of those ingredients up together until it is well combined and nice and smooth, just like so. And of course, we're going to taste our dipping sauce to make sure it doesn't need any additional seasonings. We're going to put some foil or a lid on top of it, put it in a refrigerator until we are ready to use it. And this is how our asparagus fries look once they are done baking in the oven. Oh my gosh, delicious golden brown, you guys. These were so good y'all i just kept going back for more and more and more <laughs> if you want to have a crispy bite without actually frying something panko breadcrumbs is the way to go you guys they worked beautifully on these asparagus spears so crispy and so flavorful even my seven-year-old gave them two thumbs up which is like that's the highest achievement of cooking right there <laughs> when your child gives you two thumbs up so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think about it in the comments below if you enjoyed it make sure you give me a big thumbs up that really helps my channel you guys i thank you so much for your love and support as always um and i will see y'all on the next one until then bye